Hello and welcome to the latest edition of the New Haven Independent Vlog News Summary Direct from our news and otherwise known as my compost team. Let's see what stories we're working on this week. Uh-oh, watch out, kids. People are walking around all over town with these scary masks. Why? Because of Halloween? That's what you might think, but no. Because it's election time. There's an election next Tuesday, and politicians and special interest groups are going around in disguises to cloak some pretty scary agendas but pretending to be something they're not. Like these groups that want you to vote yes Monday on a seemingly safe-sounding ballot question should we have a constitutional convention. They claim they're doing it in the name of democracy. They're not. They're doing it because they have a hang-up. They either hate or they're scared of gay people. They want to overturn this month's state Supreme Court decision that said same-sex couples can get married, which brings, means more people who love each other can have families and nice, stable homes. They're scared of that, so they want to do it by having a constitutional convention that then will name them to put an amendment on the ballot. There's another agenda, though. So a lot of people are going to vote for that, not realizing that's what this is about. They're going to vote for it and say, what's wrong with having democracy? What's wrong with having initiative and referendum? Meaning you could put questions about government on the ballot. It sounds good, but it ends up not being democracy, because democracy is when we elect people who can take the time to vote on a whole bunch of questions that affect each other. Instead, you have this disaster like they're having in Massachusetts. They have a ballot question. Should we get rid of the income tax? Sounds great. Who wants to pay tax? So they'll vote yes. That will immediately get rid of 45% of their revenue. The budget will have to be cut 45% in Massachusetts. Because of mandates, whole parts of government are just going to be eliminated. 70% of the budget will be eliminated for services like libraries, water and sewage treatment, snow removal. But you don't get to vote on those questions. So if you also had a ballot question, should we clear snow on the street, some of those people vote yes. If you had a question, should we treat our wastewater and our water so that people don't die and get sick and our children don't get uh, poisoned? You'd vote yes. You'd say, should we have libraries? they vote yes. But it's a fake democracy that special interests can push a secret agenda and screw up the process. That's what's at the stake of next week's ballot. Let's see what else we're working on. Tacos. U.S. Senator Chris Dodd, I did not see him eat any of these when he went into Latino restaurants on Grand Avenue this week on a tour of small businesses. But he did eat an empanadilla, which I never heard of before, which is an empanada, empanada that is small and is made out of beef. Dodd was there because he was checking out small businesses, because our U.S. Senator chairs the Senate Banking Committee, point person on the fiscal mess we're in now, and crafting the $700 billion bailout of Wall Street and financial firms. Now, while he was touring Grand Avenue in New Haven, trying to talk to people about how we're going to free up credit and have lending again so we can return jobs and help small businesses grow, there's a new scandal brewing. It turns out that bill he shepherded through with that bailout was a disaster passed on false premises. Unbeknown to him, there was a secret deal between Henry Paulson, the Treasury Secretary, and the investment firms he was giving the $700 billion to not to use the money to get credit freed up and have banks lend again. That was supposedly what Dodd passed, supposedly they were giving a record bailout to the same people who screwed up our economy. What happened was that a reporter for the New York Times, Joseph Nacera, listened in, secretly eavesdropped, on a conference call with Jamie Dimon, the head of J.P. Morgan Chase, and some of his employees about the bailout. He said, oh, it's all set up. We're not using any of this money for lending. We're using all that money to acquire other banks, and Paulson slipped into the bill a tax break to make it easier for us to acquire banks. No lending, just have big banks eat up smaller banks. Dodd didn't know that. He claims he's outraged. When he goes back to Washington, this is what we're going to watch. If we're going to get things moving again on Grand Avenue and throughout the city and rebuild our cities and get people back to work, Dodd is going to have to undo his mess. Check out that time story. It's linked at the bottom of this commentary. Until next time, hold on to your hat during the scary mask season. Vote! Until next time, it's New Haven Independent Vlog News Summary. Remember, always pick up your trash or vote it out.